The phrase, a skeleton in the closet, dates back to the early 18th century in the United Kingdom. It refers to a secret source of shame or corruption that has the potential for devastating consequences if ever uncovered. The skeleton in this context is a figurative representation of a dark truth that has been kept hidden, and the close-at-hand domestic imagery of the closet represents the ever-present risk of its discovery. The idea of an individual concealing a human corpse inside a closet for so long that all of its flesh had decomposed off the bone is essentially the metaphoric resemblance of a prolonged state of uncertainty and precariousness. And although the metaphorical components of the phrase are self-evident, for a very select few, the signification of the imagery bears a far more literal meaning. The general concept of secrecy has seldom appeared in psychoanalytic literature, yet common wisdom tells us that keeping secrets can take a heavy toll on an individual's well-being. We're led to believe that revealing repressed information can be a step toward psychological recovery, and multiple studies have been carried out, claiming that individuals who offload their secrets begin to ruminate less and experience higher levels of self-esteem. This has some truth to it, yet there is one fundamental component that is often overlooked when these studies are published by the media, which is that the secret keeper must not be judged upon disclosure, or that the condemnation of their exposed secret must be significantly less than what they had anticipated. This will in fact be the case for the majority of people harboring information they feel could be detrimental to their reputation, as we often mentally prepare for the worst outcome in order to soften the un welcome experience should it arise, but to also heighten the pleasant alleviation should it not arise. This is known in psychology as emotional cushioning. It occurs subconsciously and can often act as a preserving remedy for psychological durability. However, there are limited circumstances where an individual will harbor something so dark, so unimaginably corrupt, that they will be fully aware that no amount of subliminal coping mechanism will be able to prepare them for the outcome should their hidden truth become known. Neurotypicals who find themselves in these unfortunate circumstances are likely to experience three psychological symptoms on a consistent basis. Guilt, shame, and anxiety. A psychopath will experience none, whereas a sociopath will experience one. Everyone has anxiety from time to time as it prepares you to face intense situations. It increases your breathing and heart rate while concentrating blood flow to your brain, thus improving your ability to detect and avoid danger. This short-term effect is a built-in warning system and an everyday part of life with no adverse effects to one's mental or physical condition. It's when it occurs in the long term, for whatever reason, that anxiety can have a significantly detrimental effect on both the mind and body. It has the power to promote a crippling focus upon negative thinking, which for most, is a deceptive and irrational fear of the unknown, a continuous and unwarranted state of dread over what they can't control. For others, however, the fear is warranted, and in this particular case, it's the fear of retribution.